Seborrheic dermatitis is a common inflammatory skin condition, which characterized by red skin patches with yellow-gray scales. Symptoms appear gradually, and usually the first signs are flaky skin and scalp. The inflamed skin is red, scaly, greasy and itchy. They most often appear on the scalp, face, upper chest, and back. A milder variant of seborrheic dermatitis is dandruff, which is manifested by dry, flaking scales on the scalp. Seborrheic dermatitis is very common in babies. When the scalp is primarily involved, it is called cradle cap. The cause is unclear, but believed to involve a number of genetic and environmental factors. An impaired immune reaction and the fungal infection, malassezia yeast is believed to play a role. In children and babies, excessive vitamin A intake can be risk factor for seborrheic dermatitis. Also, seborrheic dermatitis-like eruptions are associated with vitamin B6 deficiency. The condition may worsen with stress or during the winter. Treatment Best and mainstay therapy is the topical antifungal medications, ketoconazole and cyclopyrox. Cyclopyrox is easier to use, only twice to three times per week as a shampoo, and its anti-inflammatory properties appear to be more efficacious than those of the other antifungal medications. Topical antifungal medications can be presented as shampoo or cream and may help those with recurrent episodes in long term. Other options may include salicylic acid, coal tar, benzoyl peroxide, and phototherapy. Topical corticosteroids have been shown to be effective in short-term treatment, but they aren't used as long-term because of side effects. Isotretinoin, a subosuppressive agent, may be used to reduce sebaceous gland activity as a last resort in refractory disease. Seborrheic dermatitis is more common among males than females, and affects around 1-10% of adult population. It is much common among children.